Hey everyone, I'm Shannon. I'm Helen. Welcome to our presentation on traditional storytelling in the Irish culture. We're going to give kind of like a brief overview of what storytelling is and how important it is to the Irish culture. Stay tuned. Storytelling is a narrative tradition that is central to the Irish culture across all generations. Starting over a thousand years ago, the Irish sat by firesides or out at sea to listen to the words of a shanki, the Gaelic word for a storyteller. The term keely denoted the custom of the neighbors, the adults, going to each other's houses to participate in storytelling. Only once the children were asleep would the real, authentic entertainment begin. Traditionally, the man of the house started the first story, regardless of his skill level. Once he had finished, the next man would begin, but never the women. Traditionally, Irish storytelling was regarded as a man's skill, but as time went on, the thought of a woman narrating a folktale became much more accepted. Unlike modern-day writers who strive for originality, these storytellers prided themselves in their ability to pass down what they've already heard. Although there are a wide variety of oral genres these stories could be told in, such as jokes, prayers, or migratory legends, the folktale has been the most prized form of oral tradition for the Irish. The art of folktale is in its telling. It is not meant to be written nor read. The storytellers who were considered to be the most authentic and captivating were the ones who told the tale by memory and by heart, remembering how the tale was passed down to them. Even though nothing compares to a Shanky spoken word, the Grimm brothers were able to reinforce the folktale's importance through the development of folklore as an academic discipline. The term folklore first appeared in the Grimm brothers' book. They saw the term as an expression of the spirit and genius of the German people, but it proceeded to inspire the Irish. It gave the Irish the conviction that folklore can help create and invigorate national identity and unity. That is exactly what storytelling did for the Irish. Telling stories became a way for the Irish to remember their roots and appreciate their past. When the potato famine hit Ireland in the middle of the 19th century, a cultural shift occurred. The huge population of illiterate Irish farmers became devastated by starvation and disease. This made space for a more educated, English-speaking generation of Irish people. Literacy rates increased, and eventually, life became better for everyone, including the ordinary working class. Although the need for oral tradition remained ever strong throughout this time, it changed as the Irish people changed. Storytelling became a way to express and share knowledge. It held warnings for children and adults about departure from social norms and acted as euphemism for disease, drunkenness, and infidelity. But most importantly, it kept the new generation connected with their ancestors. Folktales could explain why things were or delve into the rich history on the very land they stood. Even today, storytelling serves this purpose for the Irish people. Storytelling has evolved and become much more modernized over the years, with an increase in woman shanki and an increase in the telling of modern folktales. The telling of these stories and the way in which they are delivered has changed too. The traditional custom of the keely has faded and the telling of stories is mostly done within the family circle. For example, Irish mothers may tell their children certain folktales to teach them particular lessons in life, to remind them of their family history, or simply to entertain them before bedtime. The magic associated with storytelling is still present, and the oral tradition still serves as a way for the Irish people to come together and be reminded of who they are as a nation. There are remnants of Irish history embedded within these tales that will never be lost. Although authentic storytellers are rarely to be met nowadays in Ireland, there are a few that have made lasting impacts on the traditional art form, such as Sean O'Connell, Peg Sires, Eamon O'Burke, and especially Eamon Kelly who is considered to be Ireland's master storyteller. And then he showed us Riverside Drive and Columbus the Circle and Central Park West. And there was a, a man there and looking down at the map, he said to Mick, he said, I wonder, he said, where is my sister now? He said, in the middle of all that ashes. <laughs> and Mick said, do you know her number? I do, he said, to the 125 West 84th Street. Oh, I says, Mick, she'll be up here, he said, between Amsterdam and Broadway. That's where. Hey, guys, welcome back. We hope you enjoyed our video. We had a lot of fun making it. So, dividing the work, what do you think? I think we did a pretty decent uh, yeah, job. Yeah, we kind of collaborated on basically every part of it. Yeah, we didn't necessarily split up any certain aspect of the project. It was more 
a collaboration throughout the entire part working together on it. The main part I'd say is the well, initial research probably. Yeah. I think like I focus more on the history of like Irish storytelling while Shannon kind of focused on the different genres or like how to Our biggest challenge for this project would definitely be trying to experience a traditional Irish storytelling ourselves. It's something that we wanted to do from the beginning when we were brainstorming what to video. And so it was very difficult finding any place that has that within through, all throughout Ireland. And we did actually find that um, Galway was having a festival, a traditional Irish storytelling festival, but neither of us could make the uh, day that it was on, which was really disappointing. But so we had to kind of alter our plan to that. So that was a challenge. Yeah, like even though our research kind of told us and pointed out the fact that storytellers were kind of disappearing in Ireland, it was still really surprising. And we didn't realize even how hard it was to find anybody. Yeah, it was who could really do it. difficult. Yeah. <laughs> So overall, we kind of learned a little bit more than we expected when we picked the Irish storytelling topic. I mean, when we think of storytelling in America, where we come from, it's kind of like fairy tales and bedtime stories. And we didn't realize how important and how embedded storytelling is with the Irish culture and identity and nationality. Yeah, it's kind of essential to understand the actual true Irish culture without understanding the stories that say where they came from and what they went through. So we definitely learned a lot more than I think we expected at the beginning. So I hope you guys learned a lot too. Thank you for watching. Bye guys. Bye.